Here we have a Nintendo Switch OLED, and if you can believe it or not, a customer brought it to us within less than a week of getting liquid damage. Uh, now they said they were told after it shut off on them that uh, it had been exposed to water. And so he brought it to us to have the board cleaned. Uh, I put the port tester on it and saw a uh, OL on pin four, which means water has already caused damage. And we're going to investigate that. Uh, not sure if it's the port or the M92. So we're gonna open it up and take a look. So we're gonna perform a visual inspection, um, basically looking for corrosion anywhere or actual liquid. Not seeing any right off hand. Actually, everything looks really clean on this side of the board. So what we'll end up doing is we're still going to scrub the board down with IPA. All right, let's flip this over. So I'm starting to wonder why I had OL on pin four of the USB port. We're going to have to bust out the multimeter. Huh, I found something. It's like a hair. <laughs> ah, okay. Everything looks really clean there. All right, let's turn our focus to this M92. Uh, pin four is known to go to that chip. So with uh, multimeter in diode mode, I'm gonna put red probe on ground and I'm gonna check these three caps. 0.34, 0 0.50, 0 0.34. Uh, so I don't expect that that is shorted. Uh, 0 0.46, 0 0.38, 0 0.46, 0 0.53, 0 0.26, I actually think is normal on that. Um, I don't see anything out of sorts here. So everything seems normal. Let's uh, take a look inside the USB port. Okay, I found this extraordinarily difficult to get light in there in a way that you could see it. But the USB port does have some corrosion. So it's looking like we're just gonna drop this USB port, put a new one on and check the uh, port readings again. Okay, so we are going to heat from underneath at 350 degrees. And I'm going to add flux to the solder joints of the port. That's gonna help solder flow. And once that reaches a melted temperature, then I'll be able to get this off. I see it melted on the right side, which means the left side should be coming along here imminently. Okay. Yeah, what's up? No, I'll take the call. Okay, I'm gonna just set this port and then I'll take that call. I'm just gonna add a little bit of flux here to let the joints flow. Then we need to hold it down while removing the heat. And I like to continue holding past the point of where I see hardened solder just to make sure that all the hidden row of pins underneath is well attached before releasing pressure on that. Doesn't take too long and it's worth 
waiting, I think. Okay, the USB port replacement was successful. Um, I got all good diode readings on the port tester. Now's a good time to subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.